Hey guys, so this look is actually inspired by Max Up The Amp lipstick, which looks like this. It's a light lilac purpley color. And I wanted to do a makeup look based around this lipstick. I think I might do a couple of these videos that are um, inspired by lipsticks that I have in my kit. So let's get started on the eyes. You all know that I always start my eye shadow with a primer and this is Max Paint Pot in Painterly. I put this all over the lid from lash line all the way up into my brow. For this look, I really wanted this sharp edge that I got with my shadow, so I'm just going to take a piece of scotch tape and I'm angling this from my bottom lash line up into where the end of my eyebrow ends. And I'm just going to make sure that edge is really on there tight. The first shadow I'm going to be working with is called Trax, which is just a purpley golden color. Taking this on a MAC 217 and I'm going to work this in this outer corner right here. I'm pulling this in almost close to halfway. This next color is called Cranberry. I'm taking this on a flat brush and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid area and I'm going to leave this inner corner open just a little bit and kind of make sure those two colors blend together well. Now to get these colors um, to blend up towards the brow easily, I'm going to be taking soft brown, put that on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go over back and forth those edges. As a highlight, I'm going to be putting brulee underneath my brow. And this will really help to make sure everything blends well upwards. For this inner corner area, I'm going to be mixing two colors. This is Beautiful Iris and Motif. Using a smaller domed brush and I'm just kind of going back and forth in the two. And then I'm going to place this right in this inner corner. To really deepen this outer corner so we get a nice dimension and fade, I'm going to be taking Sketch. I put this on a flat brush and I'm just going to pack this right out here, right on the outer corner into the tape. And then take our blending brush and just lightly kind of flick it in. With the tape still on, I'm going to go ahead and line my eye and I'm actually going to pull the liner into the tape and that's going to give you a really, really clean edge with your liner and I'm going to wing it out too. Now you can go ahead and pull the tape off and you'll get that crisp edge with your shadows and your liner. So for underneath, you're going to want to take your white eyeliner pencil and go inside your waterline and then wing this out underneath that black liner. So for underneath that, I'm going to be going in with a angled brush and I'm going to take that first color that we did on our actual eye, which was Trax. I'm going to create a false lash line right underneath the white. When you get into this inner corner, you're going to want to angle it downwards towards your nose. And then for out here, I'm just going to angle it outwards, kind of pulled it out. Then go in with Cranberry, right on top of where we just put the tracks, and then go in with Sketch. Once you have that done, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some lashes on top and bottom. For the top, I'm going to be using number 34 lashes. And then for the bottom, I don't have the other one. They're number 32s and they're really, really tiny. So I'll go ahead and pop those on for you guys. So this is how the eyes should look once you have lashes and mascara on. So let's go ahead and get started on the lips. So to start, I'm going to be going in with a nude lip liner that's nude on my skin tone so you'll have to find something that's a little bit nude on yours and I'm just going to give my lips a little bit of shape first but not a dark definition
now I'm gonna be going in with the lipstick and again if you don't know what the lipstick looks like it looks like this it's a very vibrant violet purpley color and I'm filling in the entire lip with that color I'm going to be going in with a deeper plummy color lip liner. This is Night Moth and I'm going to take it and fill it in the center. If you want it a little bit more dramatic and a little bit darker on the inner part, go ahead and take a black eyeliner. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Again, this was inspired by Max Up The Amp lipstick. Um, I really like this look. I think I may do more um, tutorials inspired by a lipstick color because I really can do some crazy, crazy things um, that you guys may have never seen before or have seen before but wanted to see my type of way. So I will definitely take a final zoom in so you can see the finished product and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.